Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will look at conservative dentistry strategy for NEET MDS exam. Now, conservative dentistry in itself is a very easy subject because you've done a lot of preclinical work and you understand the fundamentals easily. There's not a lot to cover here, but whatever is there is technically very important. And you will also have a lot of overlap with dental materials in terms of amalgam, composite bonding agents, direct filling gold, and a little bit of overlap with prosto with regards to tooth preparation for onlays and inlays. So more or less, it's an easy subject. And it's easy to score, especially when you have like seven uh, questions repeating over the years. So the trend has been very uh, consistent with regards to cons. And last year we had 10 questions from cons, which is a very easy way to score like 40 marks if you are prepared with this subject. So in my opinion, cons is uh, an easy subject. You should definitely give all your 100% to this particular subject. Now, in order to understand what kind of uh, questions to expect and what are the important areas, here is a list of uh, the topics that you could prepare and then we have the previous year question papers on the side. So we are going to match them together and come to a conclusion as to what is more important and what should be your area of prime focus. Now let's look at the first question. So this is uh, angle former is a modification of, this belongs to hand and rotary instruments. Now, instrument related questions are very popular and they are very easy. You just get to, to have a knack of it. Go through the notes sooner in your part of the preparation so that uh, you know you have all the information regarding these instruments. Because more or less, there are a few handful of instruments that you need to know. Then we have instrument formula. The first digit indicates uh, one tenth of millimeters. That's again hand and rotary instruments. Cavity liners and bases, very important. Then rocking and tilting movement of rubber dam is prevented by parts of a rubber dam assembly, especially the clamp. Enamelloplasty is done where there is one third of thickness of enamel left. Gingival bevel in class to amalgam restoration, principles of cavity preparation. There will be a lot of questions on bevel and they keep appearing in almost all exams. So bevel with regards to tooth preparation in cons, super important. Over contouring of class 5 restoration has disadvantage of increased plaque retention. Then an adolescent patient has incisal edge fracture, it should be repaired with composite. So that goes to composite. Again, now we have seen the same exam in NEET 2023, second question on bevelling. So bevelling should be given for amalgam in cavo surface wall, gingivally. Then a dentist was preparing a proximal box for 1-6 to restore the same with composite restorative material. What is the next step? So that's a composite clinical question. Diagnosis of early caries is best done by DIFOTI, which is the digital way of trans illumination using fiber optic for caries detection. This is the explanation. And of course, you can also go through the video explanation. You will get to know a lot of parallel knowledge on the topic. You will understand how to eliminate options and you will be uh, in a better space to attempt more questions on identical topics. Right, then the next question is lap sliding fit is provided in cast metal restoration and gingival bevel is given. So what is the uh, magnitude? What is the degree? That is again principles of tooth preparation. Retention groove placement in class 3 amalgam restoration is along the exofacial gingival point angle. Then identify A in the given image, cavo surface angle. This is the third question on cavo surface so far. Then we have an image based question. Frank cavitation is seen in dentin according to ADA CCS. What should be the grading system? So this is the ADA CCS classification of determination of caries with the code. Right, go through this table. It's a beautiful uh, illustration. You can also check out the video explanation for this question. Which of the following has a remineralization potential? So that's CPP, that's casein phosphopeptide. Again, the explanation, go through the key concept. Now, whenever you're going through an explanation and key concept, make sure you take down suitable notes in your workbook. Just make a note of it 
वॉट एवर इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट न्यू थिंग्स डिफिकल्ट थिंग्स यू शुड हैव दम ऑल हैंडी फॉर रिविजन फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स ऑफ योर प्रेपरेशन एंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन बी यूज एज अ बेज अंडर कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड वेन रिमेनिंग डेंटिन थिकनेस इज लेस दैन वन मिलीमीटर गुड क्लिनिकल केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑन लाइनर्स सो यूल यूज रेज इन मॉडिफाइड जी आई सी then what is the function of converging walls in cavity preparation it is going to provide retention form and an image based question on rubber dam forceps then you have an image based question on smart plastic burrs which are used to remove diseased dentin and maintain the healthy dentin during preparation then a dentist decided to proceed with non invasive tooth preparation using air abrasion what should be the particle size 50 microns so that will be assigned to abrasive and new instruments this is a uh, niger dots be frame from rubber dam and the purpose of preparing an occlusal bevel again bevel in cavity preparation is to remove unsupported enamel rods purpose of beveling proximal walls in inlay preparation is retention so beveling is important like i told you before right then we have a schematic image of class 2 tunnel preparation This is how the tunnel preparation looks. What is the acceptable run out of burr? Factual question. Then identification of class three caries. Then a factual question of ICDAS, which is the International Caries Detection and Assessment System. Factual question. wedge wedging technique is indicated in cases of uh, where there is concavity on proximal root surface micro abrasion using crawl technique is done with hydrochloric acid 10% so all of these questions are going to laser and recent advancements in dentistry anything that's new is popular and is asked in the exam so you have to keep uh, brushing up on the current concepts with regards to cons and pros to then a question on dentin bonding agent as to how it binds the hydrophilic and the hydrophobic ends what is the meaning of bud joint it means 90 degrees then a composite restoration is to be done in case of a bleached tooth what is the maximum bond strength and at what time is it achieved so that's one week then laser in treatment of dentin hypersensitivity questions on c factor have kind of started emerging a lot lately so you must know what is c factor another question on instrument formula what is the second digit it is the primary cutting edge angle and the last question is during autoclave burrs are dipped in 2% sodium nitrite so with that we come to this observation where maximum questions in cons are asked from principles of cavity preparation and then followed by the other topics so the other topics are more or less the same level of uh, importance but your primary focus in comp in uh, conservative dentistry should be on principles of cavity preparation followed by the other topics now whenever i say other topics are not so important it is only based on the recall from previous years you can always expect newer questions from any of these topics so you must practice all of them like they are all important but pay special attention to whatever is uh, showing more popularity now how do you uh, use this information to be able to serve to be able to help yourself in the app so when you go to the app and open the task modules under the guided prep you will see a lot of tasks corresponding to these topics right so each task comes with a lot of educational content to prepare from in form of notes and videos and then you can practice questions and you can take a test so for example if you want to prepare say principles of cavity preparation you have the whole data in flow charts and tables so you go through the data go through the workbook okay and if you have the workbook yourself even better you can practice all this content by filling it you will have a lot of illustrations to remember you can also watch the video explanations to all of these topics and then the next attempt the next thing to do is to practice questions and 
take test and you have to do this for all the tasks given under this heading okay now once you finish the task then you will have to move on to more important or more uh, extensive questions in the qbank and then follow up with the test and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritus app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time number 1 is to start with tasks like i said tasks are the building blocks they are your foundation and fundamental for any subject you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos explanations and key concepts so once your tasks and q bank for a given subject are complete you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests now the tests are of two types in the app one is the weekly checkpoint test and self paced test i'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first so suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week then at the end of the week you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared right so that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy you will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time so you do not forget it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them so the revision is reinforced plus you also get personalized ai recommendations right so at the end of your test based on your performance you will get how many questions you answered what was the score how much was the negative marking where are you lacking what are your stronger points and then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects so with this strategy you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses now that is an exceptional feature of meritus app And the next set of test is self paced test which you can take at any given point of time these are subject wise test you can also have cumulative tests multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests and towards the end of your preparation phase you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes which are again specialized test to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam Now once you come closer towards the end of your preparation you will have access to this special feature of the app called marathon this is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions high yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam so when you practice these 3500 plus questions you will also enter an all india competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleague it's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time and lastly we have the all famous national mocks which is a pan india or all india nation wide uh, simulation of neat mds exam we conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go and every weekend you will have access to this special test you will see a lot of new questions in national mocks uh, which are based on important topics so do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam it gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to neat pattern that is 240 questions and 3 hours with negative marking so you you kind of 
get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all india competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized ai recommendations here as well now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your ai recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise so make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app now apart from that if there is any query that you have while solving your questions if you have any doubts regarding any topics you can always contact the faculty on the whatsapp group we are always here to help you and i hope with this in mind you will be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction and i hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in mds thank you so much and good luck from team meritors